going on guys it's that guy with movies back here again and um today we're at this place uh as it turns out they're actually having a rummage sale so um we're gonna go in there and see if they have any movies and um it's dead quiet out here <laughs> It is now dark outside. You can't really see my face, but um, we just got up out of there, and um, there wasn't really too too much there. But um, I found some really cool stuff in there. So um, let's go home and uh, show you what I picked up. All right, guys, back from that rummage sale, and um, yeah, pretty slim pickings, but um, there were some people that had movies there, and um, the little bit of footage that I got was about all I could take because. Um, I feel kind of awkward filming in there because everybody's going to be like, Ah, oh, what are you doing? Ah. Um, yeah, because the movies, they were just like, they were like right there. And then like the person was like right here. And um, I would probably get weird looks if I filmed because they would probably be asking me, what am I doing? Am I crazy? So um, yeah, the little bit of footage that I got, they were like distracted when uh, I got that footage. So um yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So, um, I am getting into uh, CD collecting now, and um, I thought I'd show you guys uh, three soundtracks that I picked up there. So, uh, first one I picked up there was *A Night at the Roxbury*, uh, music from the motion picture. Um, it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty good movie. Um, not, a, a, like, a very underrated movie, too. Uh, probably one of the better SNL movies, besides, like, obviously Wayne's World and that. Um, Night of the Roxbury is up there, too. And, um, yeah, you get What is Love, the famous, like, head-bobbing scene and that. Um, yeah, Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan are really funny in it. But why am I getting into a review of the movie? We're talking about this, the, uh, the soundtrack here. The soundtrack is really good. Uh, lots of like Euro dance and that so you guys can uh, you guys can take a look at that if you want so uh, We'll just open this up here So there's the inside score um, We'll just take a look at this here. I really like these just of like how they fold out on that They don't do that anymore. They just have like the little booklets and that's about it. So but there's the inside so that's uh, that's the night of the Roxbury music from the motion picture, a really good soundtrack. So that's that one, and um, I picked up a, a pretty common one uh, besides Titanic, and that is the the uh, the Bodyguard original soundtrack album. Um, it does have uh, "I Will Always Love You" on there. There's, she made that she made that song for the film. So there's that, and uh, there's the songs on the back there if you want to read it. It does have a lot of Whitney Houston songs, obviously. Um, but you also get uh, Joe Cocker too and uh, Kenny G. So there's the inside, and I'll uh, just take a look at this. So uh, yeah, th this one's kind of in the book style. So there's that. It's kind of just talking about the credits, this the um, the song credits in that. So there's the inside for that, and um, this one, this one's pretty decent. So. And that case, this case is really weird. So that's uh, the bodyguard. And the uh, last one I picked up there was uh, the wedding singer music from the motion picture. Um, this one has some good songs on here. Uh, Video Kill the Radio Star, Do You Really Want to Hurt Me, Everything, Every Little Thing She Does in Magic. Um, but you guys can read, see if you've heard of any of those songs. But there you go. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of this movie. I haven't seen the whole thing though. But there's, uh, there's the inside there. And um, they don't do these anymore. They don't have the fold-out ones. Um, so I just kind of make a point to show you guys that um, every time. So there you go. So that is The Wedding Singer. So uh, that's about it for the CDs. I spent four minutes talking about that already. So now we'll get on to the DVDs. So we'll kind of go from kind of common to... Uh, Rare. So, um, first thing I picked up there was the day after tomorrow, the All Access Collector's Edition release. 
had to get this one because it does have the number on the side. You guys can't really see it. There you go. That didn't <laughs> that didn't really help matters. <laughs> but um, the day after tomorrow, I actually really like this slipcover, even though it is a really dumb movie. Um, I'm kind of a stickler for um, for the disaster movies. I really like disaster movies. They're um, it's just really cool to see the special effects in that. But this one is not one that I necessarily care for. Uh, another one is Into the Storm too. I did not like that one. I do like Twister. I do like Independence Day. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I can't really think of anything else right now. But off the top of my head. But there's the special features there. If you guys want to read them off. It is a big collector's edition set. So obviously I'm not going to be reading that. So it is a two disc set. So there you go. And you do get the inserts in that, which I'm not going to be pulling out because they were a pain in the butt to get back in. So that is the day after tomorrow. And I uh, picked up The Witches of Eastwick here with uh, Jack Nicholson, Cher, Susan Sarandon, and Michelle Pfeiffer. Um, don't really know why I got this one. You don't really see it a whole lot, but um, there's the back. It is a really early release, so obviously there is no bonus features. Uh, includes an alternate music only audio track, which I'm pretty sure every movie did that. Uh, annoying flipper disc and yeah, I like the uh, the you know the drill with the snap cases. So that's the witches of Eastwick. Uh, and then I got a an odd one here. Uh, I don't really know if you guys have seen this one or not, but if you have seen it, leave a comment down below. Uh, it's a little bit of an older uh, Robert Redford movie, and that is uh, the Clearing. Um, also starring Helen Mirren and Willem Dafoe as well. But if you guys have seen this one, leave a comment down below. I have no idea what this is about. I just got it because it sounded interesting, I guess. But there is the inside. Uh, it, it is supposed to have a slipcover, but apparently it's rare. So, uh, yeah, obviously I probably won't be finding that anytime soon. But uh, the clearing, if you guys have seen it, leave a comment down below. And uh, the, uh, the coolest thing that I picked up today... Uh, is an MGM DVD and you guys know how every time I go to thrift stores I always 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 check the uh, the MGM DVDs and this one turned out to be worth a little bit of money it is running out of print uh, not really worth a whole lot of money though but it is out of print uh, and that is the double feature Tim Conway movies of the long shot and they went that away and that away if you guys have seen these leave a comment down below I have no idea what these are about so there you go. Unfortunately, these are uh, full screen, but they do come on a flipper disc. That kind of annoys me. I wish they came on uh, two two separate discs. But if you guys have seen either one of these, leave a comment down below. So there you go, guys. That is about it for this video. So that's that. The movies and the CDs. So again, guys, that is about it. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Turn and subscribe links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you all next time.